Hello everybody, this is Blue Slime, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to make a 360 video. Um, this is only, this, you can't like do this in real life or anything, because this is actually going to be like um, 3D animating. Anyway, I am in an application called Blender. I am in um, Blender 2.77a. Um, for this tutorial, um, it's recommended that you actually know how to use Blender, but if you can like get some scene from like some down, like Blender downloading website, um, like Blend Swap or something, and you want to make it 360, that should work, and you should be able to follow this um, tutorial if you wanted to. Anyway, um, I had a few people asking how to make this, but I'm gonna go ahead and start. So I already have like a simple scene I made right here. Let me go ahead and open it. It's, I called it a 360 tutorial. Here we go. I just put in some random stuff. Um, I like got this little pig from Blend Swap for Minecraft. Minecraft, um, but his texture doesn't work in cycles, and I don't want to waste my time trying to fix it. So I'm not gonna. Anyway, just want to say that real quick. Yeah, I just put a put a few random things around here. Um, I was just gonna put a ring, and then I put another ring, and I was like, you know what? Olympics. So I made an Olympics. Anyway. So once you have a simple scene set up, you want to put a camera in an area, and it doesn't really matter the direction it's facing, or it doesn't too much. It's easier to um, have it um, like straight up, but it doesn't really matter. Here, I need to go. If you can do, you can do Alt R, and it will clear all rotation. So I just did that real quick, and then that allows me to go rotation on the X axis, and then go 90. Just have it straight. You don't have to. It just kind of helps out, so you know what area you're gonna be starting when you first load up the um, like the when you first load up the video. That is gonna be the direction that you are straight facing. You can still look around and everything. So now what you can do is gonna have the camera selected. You know what? I'll make it a little bigger. It doesn't really matter. Just so you guys can see where it is. And then you go over to the camera setting in cycles. I think cycles and both both cycles render and blender render both have the little camera thingy. And I think it will work in um, in Blender render, but I want to do it in cycles because I just like cycles more. Anyway, go to the little camera setting over here if you don't see it. Well, my mouse got real big. I almost had it again. Anyway, then you're going to select panoramic. Then you're going to select the type as equal rectangular. Yeah, equal rectangular. And that is basically all you have to do. And then you go over to the um, render settings here. And I always like to display my um, render in a new window, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You want the highest resolution possible because the be better resolution, the better it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick this up to 100%, so it's full HD. And I'm actually going to try and do a um, 4K video. So I'm really quickly gonna just type in the 4K resolution, which I believe is 3840 and 2160 I think I'm gonna check that real quick um, use Google I like Google um, let's see here I think that's right I always have to look this up um, let's see 3840 yeah I'm right okay cool anyway I'll go ahead and put this in output as my desktop we good enough? Where's my desktop? There it is. Uh, yeah, we'll go desktop. We'll, I'll put it to my desktop. You can put it um, as any video. You can do H um twenty two six four if you're on a um Windows. But I'm gonna put QuickTime because I'm on a Mac. And then you go into video codec. You can do any of them really. But I'm gonna go ahead and go do animation because for some reason that's what my computer likes, and for some reason it goes a little faster if I have it like that. Anyway. Um, for sampling, you normally want that really high, but since this is just a um, an example, I'm gonna put it at like 50 so I can get a quicker render time and I can show you guys a little faster what the um, result is. And now we'll go down here to light paths, and you probably do not need reflective caustics and refractive caustics. You can keep shadows, but those two um, really slow down the render time. If you really, really want something to be photorealistic, you might want to keep those. But in most cases, you don't need them, especially if you want faster render times. And I'm going to go ahead and keep all these settings the same because I don't really care too much about the speed of this. If you really want to go faster, you can also go down here in performance. 
You can use this acceleration structure, the use on the spatial splits. Uh, I think that's about it. I'll, I'll do like, um, I don't know, 100 frames, 150 frames. Sure, 150 frames. Just a quick like example video. By the way, I will actually upload this video onto my YouTube channel and I'll put the link in the description if you want to see how this actually turned out. I am going to have a second episode on, um, this is, by the way, I'm like ending this here. So that's all you have to do inside of Blender. You just press the animation button right here and it'll start the animation, but I'm not going to do that quite yet because um, I'm going to talk to you guys for a second. So I'm going to make another video and that'll be uploaded tomorrow about how to um, make, like once you get the video um, rendered, what to do so you can upload it as a 360 video to YouTube, which is a whole nother process. So I'm going to show you guys that tomorrow. And yeah, so, and the link to that video will be in the description of this video. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and press this button right there. It should start rendering. And so, um, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Be sure to check out the one tomorrow that will be um, the one on um, of actually uploading it to YouTube. Anyway, see you guys on that next episode.